Welcome back to Calypso Moon. Welcome in if you're new. Come join me. I'm over here looking like a frizz ball, but you know, I want to show y'all this view. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I don't know why I keep doing doing a recording of it separately, but I think I will do that. You guys can see the ocean over there between the trees. So beautiful. Yes, I'm in Mexico. Guys, it's reading, so let me get this camera set up right again. Put it pointed to the table so you guys can see. And let's go ahead and get on with their reading. Okay, I don't know what happened, Cancer, but let's go ahead and get your overall energy. Any spiritual messages. For Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, Spirit Guides, Benevolent Ancestors, Universal Energy, what are your messages for Spirit? Oh, this card came out again. This was in your pre-shuffle, but the camera cut off. You got the Seven of Wands, the Five of Coins, the Queen of Wands. And the nine of pentacles, nine of coins. <clears throat> yes, there's a lot of defensive energy here. Somebody is definitely on guard right now. Protecting, it could be some type of money or finances. Protecting your energy mostly though. I feel like somebody has given a lot here or they feel like they've given a lot. Um, it could be in terms of money, could be in terms of energy, could just be in terms of deeds that you've done. And now somebody is wanting to be more assertive in a situation with the Queen of Wands. Um, assert their independence here, I'm getting. With the Nine of Coins. <clears throat> Alright, let's dive into this a little bit more. Show me the seven of wands. The magician. <laughs> Somebody could be fighting against illusions here. Uh, there could be some type of paradigm or um societal norm or something that somebody is fighting against or trying to protect themselves from here. <clears throat> you could feel like this is an illusion that you don't want to be a part of anymore. I'm getting the matrix. Somebody feels like they're a part of the matrix. And it's like they're doing everything they can to fight, fight against that or to protect themselves from becoming a part of it. We got the page of wands here. <clears throat> Somebody's, uh, I'm getting with this page of wands and the five of pentacles. Somebody's looking at the way that they, this message keeps coming. Somebody's looking at the way that they exchange money and energies with people. I see four, six with the cancer card and the Virgo card. That could be an important number for you. 46 or four, six. Um, you're looking at the way money is exchanged different and this could be something that's going on in the world right now too that you're taking note of but somebody is definitely reevaluating the way that they exchange money and energy with people <clears throat> the moon you guys have to excuse me i'm going to keep on clearing my throat because i, I don't I, I need it to be cleared <laughs> Okay, so this is somebody's hidden side that's coming out. That's what I'm getting here. It's like you're finding some type of inner strength, some type of inner, ah, oh God, I hate this word, gumption. I don't like using that word. I don't even like that word. But it's like some type of inner strength, some type of inner motivation uh, to protect yourself and to protect your interests. And you are being assertive about it. A lot of you could be finding a new... You could be looking at yourself in a new type of way, too. The 
you could be looking at yourself as being more assertive with what it is that you want. This is a part of your path, though. Oh, I just saw the Seven of Swords. <clears throat> You're calling out anything that's not revealed. I'm getting like this is like a second world. This is crazy. Like it's coming off like this is a world is an illusion to whoever I'm reading for here. Money is an illusion. Time is an illusion. And somebody is really definitely trying to protect themselves from this energy. Like there's two worlds almost, which, you know, if you're a spiritual being, then you already know that there are two worlds. There's the 3D world that everybody participates in physically. And then there's the spiritual world that is going on around us. And while we're asleep, that is not seen always by everyone. But I'm getting with this that this is more of an illusion in the 3D that's being created to make it seem like there's two different worlds happening at the same time. I don't know where this message is coming from. Oh my God, seven of coins, illusion, disillusion, illusion. Um, yeah, with the magician, somebody's definitely feeling like they're in a false reality. That's what I'm getting here. I'm getting with this information or knowledge too that now someone can go to their path. They can be more assertive on their path. They can stop feeling lack and start feeling abundance here. Because they're changing their perspective like you are being... Why is this right here? <laughs> Sorry, I had to move that. Um, you're being like given some type of insight here about how this world really works, like how money really works, how energy really works. Somebody feels like they're waking up into a new reality, a new world. There was two different worlds that was that was there. They are realizing this. This is crazy. Let me do one more. I like it though. It feels really good. I feel like somebody feels like they're waking up. Yeah. They're, what did I just say? The illusion in the world. Man, I cannot make this up. There, the, a cycle of I'm getting ignorance is being closed out. So a new, a new cycle can begin, a new world. <clears throat> oh my God, I just got new world order. <laughs> that was the illusion. Somebody really on a conspiracy shit right here. <laughs> yeah, um, the traditions and the things that <clears throat> we would normally hold or that this person or you normally holds you're breaking those you're breaking that you're realizing that that's what that hangman energy was you're realizing that this system this something was meant to keep you oppressed or in a lower place a lower vibration with the page here a poverty mind state That is definitely what's happening here. Somebody is breaking the illusion of a poverty mind state. And they're learning how to exchange money with energy. Like you're understanding that money is energy. Time is energy. Um, words are energy. Movement is creating energy. Okay, let me see what else. This is... Uh, with the Hermit and the Knight of... Pentacles, Knight of Coins in this deck. This has been some soul searching. And the moon here. This is somebody's soul journey to realize this. And to be able to take control over it and move forward in this knowledge. This hidden knowledge. What was once hidden is revealed. Now you have the hermit here. You can see. You're able to see now. 
I'm hearing that somebody can carefully move on their path now that they have a lantern, now they have light to see. Gui a guide, I'm getting. There's somebody has some type of guide here. Somebody could be guided by the moon. Cancer, the moon is your ruling planet. So, I'm definitely feeling like somebody's getting more into their spiritual side here, which is alignment, aligning with your true purpose and path. It's been a slow process, but it is coming along now. Two of Cups. I'm hearing all you need is love, love, love. I can't say me. Love is all you need. Who sings that? John Lennon? I don't know who sings it. This is kind of like the message I got for Virgo. Somebody's also realizing that they need to align. I don't know. I think this is like the opposite of the message that I got for Virgo, really. There's like some illusion around love here, too. <clears throat> Show me this two of cups, seven of cups, nine of pentacles. Mm. There's definitely some type of paradigm or thought or um, instilled way of thinking that has somebody uh, in an illusion here when it comes to love. I don't know what this is. I can't quite put my finger on what this is, but because it's coming out as the nine of pentacles, which is somebody who is happily stable on their own. And that's the in the final energy that you're ending up in, that you're gonna be happy and stable on your own. But we got another page here. We got three pages here. This could be children. I don't know what this is. Somebody's realizing that they're looking at love differently. Like they don't need this type of love or this connection in love or something to be happy. But maybe that is, that's been an illusion for them. Okay, I'm gonna leave that alone because I have no idea what this is so maybe something to do with kids maybe somebody's realizing they don't need kids to be happy or maybe the connection with their kids is all they need to be happy and maybe the romantic love is not what they need maybe that's the illusion i'm not exactly sure you guys are gonna have to let me know what that is in the comment box because i can't get my finger on that one <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and take a look at your career, finances, money. Maybe that'll go into more detail about what it is that you're, or how it is that you're looking at money right now. Hey guys, Vanilla Ancestors, Universal Energies. Show me what I need to see for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. You guys are coming up as the Empress in money, finances. You're growing something here. You're growing your money. You're growing your finances. You're growing your resources. So you have the Empress, abundance, growth. You got the King of Wands, which is the counterpart to the Queen of Wands that you just had. <clears throat> you got the Three of Wands. 
and the eight of wands so i'm definitely seeing that you're moving quickly forward or you will be moving quickly forward when it comes to finances you're waiting right now possibly for something to come in but it's going to come in quicker than you expect it to because you were being assertive or someone around you was being assertive there is definitely something to do with children here I also see traveling here quick travel maybe you've been waiting to travel oh we got the ten of swords after some type of betrayal possibly you are finding an ending to something a loss of something you're finding that you can be um you can grow from this grow something from it grow your money grow your wealth some of you could have lost a job a home um, something that you thought made you stable, but you're realigning here with the Empress card and the Emperor. Oh my God, I just realized that realignment. Talk about realignment. These two are counterparts, the divine counterparts. That's that twin flame energy. You guys have been getting that in your readings a lot. Plus, you had the King and Queen of Wands, also counterpart energy. You're vibrating, um, uh, I don't know how to say it. You're in alignment with yourself, so you're vibrating higher now. You're coming more into alignment with things. But something had to end in order for you to come into this alignment. And whatever ended is, ended is actually making you more financially aligned i'm getting too from that other energy that it's like somebody knows the secret to life now or they think they know or have it figured out on how to live right how to live in alignment how to vibrate higher the hangman came out again so i don't know you guys didn't see this in your pre-shuffle i'm gonna try to add that video on here but when I first started, the camera cut out, and this was one of the cards that came out for you, the hangman. That's stuck energy. And it's cut lining up right here with the three of wands. More travel cards. But all of these three cards are travel. The um, three of wands, the eight of wands, and now we have the uh, six of swords. After being stuck in a situation, you finally got a new perspective and you you decided to move forward on your path all i keep hearing is alignment 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 somebody is definitely in alignment with their true purpose in life their soul's purpose right now some of you guys could be starting a spiritual journey right now that's what i'm getting like i'm getting that somebody's becoming less superficial it's not about money anymore it's about somebody's definitely becoming more spiritual that's just what i'm kidding <laughs> the six of coins oh my god equal give and take equal exchange fair exchange balance that's what i'm talking about that's what alignment is when you come into alignment you're balanced you have your yin and yang And for those of you who are not coming into union with your counterpart or twin flame, this is definitely some type of alignment with your soul. Like you, your physical, your soul, and your mental, and all of that stuff is in alignment now. You're all, you're on the same page with those things. This is balancing out your money. This is because you've got a different perspective about how to you know do your money use money nine of wands yeah there was some type of hurt some type of pain that you've had here 
some type of battle, something that was unexpected for you. You went from the Nine of Wands to the Eight of Wands, which is in the Wands situation pretty good. But there was something that had to happen. I'm, the Ten of Swords, the Nine of Wands, there was something that had to happen that was hard for you, that was hurtful, burdensome, something that affected you enough to make you move. And I don't just mean physically move, but make your soul move. You, It does look like somebody's doing some physical movement, movement or even some physical traveling here after a time, a period of being stuck. But I mean like your soul's moving forward on its path. And for some reason, this is creating more wealth and more money or balancing out your money, which I'm saying you don't even really care that much about anymore. Or you won't be. You're, there's something that's going to be making you care less about the material, the finances, the career, stuff like that. That's what I'm getting here in the spread. All right, let's check in with your love really quick because it's already at 20 minutes. And then I'll read your um, elemental oracle card. Dang, Cancer. I'm really glad for you guys. I'm really proud of you. I feel like Cancers are like the babies of the Zodiac. I don't know. Y'all are water babies. Maybe just when it comes to your emotions. The struggle with you guys is to figure out how to balance those emotions out and control those emotions. All right, let's see what we got for love for cancer. Show me what I need to see. Spirit guides, benevolent ancestors. I am eternally grateful for your guidance. Same. Okay, there's, oh, there, this could have been a burden that happened in love. That's got you looking at life different. The same cards is coming out. I know y'all see me shuffle. Ooh, the sun. Wherever you're going, Cancer is going to make you really happy. <laughs> you have the moon, now you have the sun. There could be some type of love offer coming in for you. This could be from somebody that hurt you in the past or that you hurt in the past. Or this could be just you being wounded from the past, not necessarily with this person who's bringing you the love offer. But there's some type of wounding here. This could be getting you to move. This could be getting you to travel. This could just have you thinking differently about where it is that you want to go when it comes to love. The garbage truck is here. <laughs> but... Once you figure out where it is that you want to go, which I feel like you have to some extent here, this is going to be like the happiest journey, the happiest movement. And for those of you who aren't doing any physical traveling, any physical movement, this is just your soul moving. Oh, you got the devil. Okay. Okay. I'm definitely seeing that you dealt with somebody before. This could have been somebody standing in the way. Somebody that offered you love here. This could have been somebody standing in the way of a twin flame union. Tell me what I need to see. Somebody was making false promises here with this devil card. They were trying to control the situation or control you. Um, I feel like, too, that somebody was might have been using money to control somebody else as well. That's why this whole money, new world, new idea of the way world and money and energy works here, there's somebody's getting a new perspective about that. They're moving on to calmer waters. I'm, we got too many travel cards. Somebody is definitely traveling. Physically moving somewhere. Physically getting up and going somewhere. Traveling. 
And then we got the Seven of Swords. Something, some type of lie. Somebody might have been living a lie. And now they're moving away from that because that lie has, the, it was an illusion. That's all I keep getting. It was definitely some type of illusion. And it could have been in love. It is in love. This whole situation is making somebody change their whole perspective on life. Look at this. The Four of Pentacles is usually somebody who's a miser, somebody who's hold, who has a lot of money, but they're holding on to it. They don't want to spend it. You know, they don't want to give it up. They just hold on to it. But if you know anything about energy exchange, which I'm feeling like, Cancer, you are learning about that here. Um... You know you have to release that money in order to get more back. The more you exchange that energy, the more that energy is exchanged with you. Because you're vibrating on that. Somebody is learning that here. Wow. That's crazy. Show me the sun and you got the ace of wands. Definitely some type of new passionate opportunity that you're going to be moving towards that is going to make you very, very happy. This could be a person. This is a person. They could have fire somewhere in their chart. Aries, Leo, Sag. This person could also have Capricorn in their chart too. Or Leo. Well, I'm getting strong Leo over here, um, but also Capricorn over here with the devil. I'm still getting to that this energy is not just going to be gone with the devil here. There's somebody who's going to be still possibly messaging you that does not have good intentions. Let me do one more. the world again this is over though with whoever this manipulative person was this is over I'm even getting emotionally abusive person This person was definitely standing in the way of you moving forward on your journey, on your path. They've hurt you very badly. I'm seeing that. And you're moving away from this situation. But there is something, you're, you're moving away from the lies, the delusion, the manipulation, the abusive, the emotional abuse. The magician, these same cards keep coming out. <clears throat> So yeah, somebody's illusion about money, using money, how they use money, that's changing. How they exchange money. I'm definitely getting like there was some type of money manipulation, emotional manipulation going on in whatever situ love situation this was. Somebody could have been using someone for money here and they found out. And now they're moving, that hurt them badly and now they're moving away from the situation. Like there's a lot of clarity that's happening for you right now, Cancer. We got the Queen of Wands again. Yeah, you're stepping into this new assertive role. You're becoming more passionate. Possibly even about life, possibly even about love. Somebody is breaking down their walls. That's what I'm getting. Like, it's okay to love. Maybe that's what that Two of Cups was in the other spread. Because Virgo did get a similar message. Is that, like, it's okay to be by yourself until the mm -hmm. right love does come along. I don't know if that's the same message for you guys, but I definitely am getting that somebody is breaking down their... Uh, walls is all I can say they're they're 
apprehensions about love. Somebody could have been all about money in the past here. And now they're more focusing more on their passions. Hmm. All right. I'm going to leave that love spread there. Let's go ahead and look at, well, let me throw some camper on here just to see. And then I'm going to read your card, your elemental card. Change. <laughs> With a car there, somebody's packing up and moving across. Somebody's moving. Look at this shit. You can't make this up. Somebody's packing up their life and moving away from this bullshit. Moving away from this manipulative person, this lying ass person who's standing between their destiny, occupation. It's, yeah, somebody had you working overtime for their love, working, maybe even paying them for their love. I don't fucking know what this is here, but I don't like it. Maybe you felt like dealing with this person was a full-time fucking job. I don't know. Privileged lady. But whatever this is that's changing for you here and what you're moving away from here, privileged lady, it's going to bring you more abundance still. It's like you are going to be looking at life and finances so much differently here. That's what I'm getting. You are possibly already doing this. Somebody's realizing how privileged they are, not just financially, but in love, the matters of the heart here, even towards family. Sudden wealth. This is going to be bringing you in a lot of money. 777. No, look, I can't even say that. That's just what the card says. What I'm getting from this card is that the wealth, the sudden wealth that you're getting is your love. Is this new found way that you're seeing life and love. That's the wealth. That's the sudden wealth. And it's like a sudden realization for you. Like, I don't need money to decide or define who I am. There's other things in life that are more precious than that. I'm about to start crying. What the fuck? <laughs> Oh, God, that's a big message right there. I'm about to start crying. Uh, I hate crying on video. <laughs> but your card is number 36. Number 36. Let's read it. Electricity. Wildness. Oh, God, I'm getting that. Somebody is, like, fucking in love with somebody, like, there's this new attraction, new chemistry. It's, and it might not even be new for some of you guys, but it's like it feels new. Like love feels new to you. You're allowing it. I'm, that's what I'm getting. Okay, electricity, wildness. Embrace your wildness. Break free of your self-imposed constraints. I give up. <laughs> am I psychic or am I psychic? <laughs> I give up. Embrace your wildness. Break free of your self-imposed constraints. That's what I've been talking about this whole time. Take immediate action. There is no need for further consideration of your problems. You contain the spark of the divine. Oh my God. I'm really about to start crying. Somebody is on their spiritual path here. I'm about to cry. Okay. So there is no reason to feel lesser. Confront the issue head on. And I feel like that's what you're doing here when you're moving away from whatever this bullshit is over here with this devil, this devilish ass person who was emotionally manipulating you and hurting you. You see a world, the world in a new light. That's what I'm getting. It's electric. <laughs> oh my God. I love you guys so much. I will see you next time.